my darlings and welcome to a brand new fashion video here on my channel. I have got some incredible outfits to share with you today. A couple of months ago I did a high street haul here on my channel and most of the pieces in that video were from River Island and it was when the retailers were just starting to bring their autumn winter things into the stores and I picked up so many gems so I thought I would do the same again today and share with you even more pieces that in my humble opinion are going to be those pieces that we wear time and time again throughout the upcoming autumn winter season. As you may know I am always leaning towards those pieces which are more timeless, more classic, that are going to work with so many things that I already have in my wardrobe. So that is what you're going to see me picking up today and a lot of these pieces I'll be styling with things already in my wardrobe. Hopefully you guys have got similar things in your wardrobes as well so these things will slot in, maybe make your summer pieces feel a little bit more appropriate for autumn but also become what I like to call those building block pieces that you will reach for time and time again throughout the upcoming season. So as with all of my fashion videos, everything that I mention in today's video is going to be linked in the description box down below so you can just open that up if you would like to shop any of these pieces and if you haven't already done it, please do subscribe, just hit that little button down below so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so as as per usual, let's get started with what I'm wearing right now. I'm usually a long jumper kind of gal. I like to wear jumpers which, to be honest, go below my bum. <laughs> that is usually the length of jumper that I like to go for. But I have been trying to style up a few more of my skirts for autumn winter and I can't help but feel that I just needed a few more jumpers in my collection which are a little bit shorter. So this one here is a crop jumper, it does have a fair isle pattern to it and what I really love is this button detail on the cuffs. The sleeves themselves are not too long, in fact for me that is the absolute perfect length. We have got a really cosy roll neck and where it's cropped you can just leave it out or if you want to fold it up or tuck it in to any of your cute little autumn skirts. So I've styled the knit with this brownie toned houndstooth skirt which I think is such a beautiful addition to my autumn wardrobe. If I was wearing it on a day like today where it's still sunny, it's still mild, I might even wear sandals with an outfit like this but to complete the look today, trying to get more into the autumn spirit, I have popped on my Chloe boots. I would probably finish with a crossbody bag if it was really chilly, maybe pop something over my shoulders and this is one of those really simple classic autumn outfits that's not on trend in any respect, it's very timeless, so I can see myself wearing this throughout the autumn and winter seasons and not just this year but for many years into the future as well. Okay, quick confession, I actually had not tried this gilet sleeveless jacket on before filming these clips and I am in love with this, oh my gosh. So. A sleeveless jacket is one of those wonderful things that keeps you so warm but sometimes, especially when it's actually not that cold outside, you want something that makes you really cosy and makes you look like you're ready for autumn and winter but sometimes you just don't want that stuffiness and almost like claustrophobia that you get with a full coat. And this is just absolutely perfect for that, especially if you do pop thermals on underneath your cable knit jumper like I would do on a chilly day but oh my gosh! How amazing does this sleeveless jacket look? It could definitely be one of those things that co has cost you hundreds of pounds, but in reality, it is from the high street. River Island are so good at doing things like this. I feel like you know what I'm gonna say when it comes to the timelessness of this. It's one of those things, again, not particularly on trend. It's something that you can wear for so many years. The color, neutral, classic, works with everything in my wardrobe. That is the main benefit to having a personal colour palette. I did a video years ago on how to find your own personal style. I'll leave it linked up on the screen. Let me know if you'd like me to redo that kind of video. But I stand by all of those tips and one of them is to be really confident with your own colour palette because once you have a colour palette that you stick to, it can change season on season for me in the springs. It's obviously a lot of light pinks and blushes but in autumn winter I do love, yes I still love the pinks but I loved this kind of oatmeal-y, creamy colour and browns, groundbreaking, I know, but if you invest in plenty of pieces of that one particular colour palette, everything will mix together so, so well, and that is why this just works, even though I wasn't even planning on pairing it over this outfit, but most of the things I'm going to show you, as I always do, do fall within this certain 
colour spectrum I would say right down to the accessories, the bags and the shoes. So yeah, I don't feel too bundled up and yet I feel so ready for autumn and winter. So nice and warm and cosy in this. I think it looks fabulous. If you are a skirt lover, you want to keep your legs out in autumn and winter, then something like this is going to keep you nice and toasty. And with these accessories, I think this has quickly become a new favourite autumn outfit. You guys can thank me later because I have found the piece that I feel like everyone is looking for in their autumn winter wardrobes this year and it is the cable knit long line cardigan. Yes, there is a high street version of the piece that you'll, you'll literally not take this off come the autumn winter months. I had a have a long line cashmere cardigan that I lived in last year. I've already started wearing it again for this autumn and winter but I think it must have got moth eaten over the winter or something because there are actually holes in it. So I have been looking for a new version and River Island have done me proud. I am absolutely toasty right now because I've got on a jumper dress, a classic jumper dress with a long line cardigan, but these will work over every outfit. If you are a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl but just want something more snuggly, long line cardigan. If you like wearing dresses or little skirts, pop a long line cardigan over the top and whether you are at home, just one of those things, kind of like a dressing gown but maybe a little bit more I could leave the house in this and a little bit less um, I'm about to go to bed, those kind of vibes. But if you are planning on coming for a Cotswold staycation or anywhere where you want to be cozying up by the fire, a long line cardigan is one of those things you can just snuggle up in. But equally, they're perfectly acceptable to wear out and about as well. This one is that classic Fair Isle cable knit. You've got lovely long sleeves, which you could absolutely roll over. There are little pockets, which let's be honest, you're not gonna want to put anything in, but they are great for just popping your hands in. Um, a lovely kind of ribbed collar that goes all the way down. So it really does feel like a robe. And yet it is something that you can wear out and about. So at the moment I've just started it open, really nice and relaxed, but of course you could cinch it in around the waist with a belt. You could make the long line cardigan the entire outfit. In fact, I'm pretty sure, I thought I added this to my basket, but obviously I forgot. There, I'm pretty sure there is a matching dress that goes with this. If there is, I'll leave it up on the screen here and link down below. I'm gonna go back on the website and order it <laughs> if I haven't completely imagined it because those together with a little brown belt I think would be the perfect super cozy super chic autumn outfit and guess what darlings I did not imagine it so I went ahead and ordered the dress and oh my gosh it is fabulous it's definitely my longest um, knitted dress but this cable knit design is absolutely gorgeous it's very form-fitting but I love that little slit um, on the leg and yes it looks so good with a long line jumper cardigan I'm definitely going to wear the together with the belt and brown accessories. I just am in love with how this looks and I couldn't resist adding a brown knitted off the shoulder dress to my basket. I've got the cardigan on with the belt now and oh my gosh I love it even more. I always think that they just apparently academia is one of those trends that's coming from TikTok into the real world this autumn winter and I feel like this is quite an academia outfit. It reminds me a little bit of, you know, when Elle Woods first went to, I was about to say Royal Holloway, Harvard. <laughs> like when Elle Woods first went to Harvard Law School, she wore that amazing emerald green crushed velvet robe. I feel like silhouette wise, this is kind of similar. Um, and I was thinking about that lovely dress that I've got, the blue, wow. <laughs> brown, that lovely brown linen dress that I've got. This over the top if it starts to get chilly in the evenings, absolutely perfect. If you are already starting to think about your Christmas outfits and everyone that I speak to is going big this Christmas with loads of parties, I have already found the perfect Christmas party shoes. So I thought I would just sneak these in there. You might recognize this style because I have, oh my gosh, I actually forgot that I have these already in two different colorways. You'll have seen me styling up the brown version of these shoes so, so many times. Obviously they're a little bit inspired by a very popular designer shoe. I'm sure you know which one I mean, but I would never spend that amount on the designer version because I think this version is just as wonderful, just as wearable, and they look just as fabulous. Um, I don't know if the brown version is coming back in stock. I really hope it will, but the gold version, I always say that I wear metallics as a neutral, so I think I'm going to get just as much wear out of these. As soon as I saw them come onto the website, I added to basket. I know that they'll go with so many of my Christmas looks. They're so easy to slip on. They are so comfortable, and I also have them in 
Okay, obviously not the exact same, but I do have the fluffy version. And yes, I have actually worn these out of the house already. This is as trend focused as I get when it comes to footwear. And if I do want to get something a little bit more fun, a little bit more out there, then of course I go to the high street as opposed to spending loads and loads of money on a pair of shoes that are a little bit more crazy if I want to have a little bit more fun because let's be honest, the price per wear on these is not gonna be quite so good. Whereas something that is more classic, I'm going to wear these with these all literally go with all of my Christmas party outfits that I can think of from previous years. I have already ordered one dress. But yeah, just the kind of shoe that will go with everything. And I know they're going to sell out. So that's why I'm showing you them now before the Christmas party season. Because I know that you guys are going to love them. So take my advice. They're under £50. Trust me, this is one footwear purchase that you will not regret. <laughs> so I think we all know that I am pretty safe when it comes to what I bring into my wardrobe and every time I try something a little bit different I'm a little bit nervous and I always ask you guys for your styling advice so today this next outfit it's two things two things that I know I should bring into my wardrobe and I know that I need to play around with number one it is the shacket and I thought okay I've seen a lot of people styling shackets and that's shirt jacket I think and I always think that is a practical item. That is something that you can pop on over your shoulders if you're just dashing out the house, but you're not quite ready for a full on jacket. It's a little bit more than a shirt. It's not quite as much as a full on coat. And I saw this shearling version on River Island and I thought that is the one. That is the one for me to trial the shacket in my wardrobe and see how I can make it work for me. Now I have done what I usually do when I try something a bit new and paired it with something that I'm very comfortable with. So obviously, a jumper dress, <laughs> a neutral colored jumper dress because I like to play it safe. But how would you guys style a shacket? This one I feel is quite long. Is that the trend? I don't know. I bet the cool girls would obviously style, oh my gosh, high-waisted white mom jeans, some kind of top, maybe a cool kind of t-shirt. That would be a really cool outfit. Am I cool enough? I don't know. But let me know how you guys would style a shacket. And the second piece, let me just remove one. <laughs> I've actually taken the Mickey out of people for wearing these in the past. Charlie's sister, if you're watching, I'm sorry. And I actually said one day I will probably end up wearing a pair. They're kind of like Birkenstocks-ish, that kind of vibe. Um, slides, do you call them sl sliders? Or is that a burger? Slides. And again, they are shearling. So comfortable, oh my gosh. So comfortable, great for just slipping on, great house shoes, but also I'm nipping to the spin studio, I don't need to put trainers on, or I'm going to do yoga, I don't need to put proper footwear on. Um, I just love the shearling on these. I actually think they're fantastic. So comfortable, I will wear these around the house. Are they quite clunky and not that elegant? Yes, but are they practical? And is that actually higher up on my importance list right now? Yes. So I'm sorry to anyone that I may have offended in the past for my previous dislike for these shoes, but I had never seen any that I'd fallen in love with and I just think they're absolutely adorable. They're cute, they're comfy, and I'm wearing them with a jumper dress. So that is sliders and shacket for beginners. But yes, I would very much welcome your styling tips for those these two pieces. Up next, we have a piece which I feel is very true to my personal style. And yet because of my lifestyle, I just, I don't really wear pieces like this anymore. And it really upsets me. But I do get a lot of questions from you guys about pieces which you can wear to smarten up your outfits, whether it is for those all important Zoom meetings, all for real life days in the office, meetings, and yet maybe you're not quite willing to get rid of all the comfort from your outfit. So you want to be able to have something quite smart to pop on over, for example, a jumper dress. And this, I feel, is the perfect piece. No, this is not some crazy thousand pound designer. It is from River Island, oh my goodness. It is the perfect boucle white jacket. It looks so elegant. It looks so expensive. And this is this is just that piece that instantly smartens you up, makes you look like you are, makes you look so professional, makes your outfit look so expensive. As I always say, not the be all and end all, but if you can elevate your outfit, then why on earth wouldn't you? Truly, this is just such a beautiful and elegant piece. If I had an important meeting, or Zoom meeting especially, because let's be honest, you could literally have tracksuit bottoms on underneath this and no one would ever know. 
just make sure you don't need to stand up to make yourself a cup of coffee during the meeting and ruin the illusion. It's perfectly cropped as well, so if you are wearing a little dress, it's gonna cinch you in around the waist. But yes, this is one of those things that I am gonna keep in my wardrobe, literally for that exact occasion, if I do have a Zoom meeting or a real life meeting. But equally, I can imagine Freddie pairing this with a really cute little skirt, and it's just, it's kind of like an Elle Woods outfit as well, isn't it? It looks so sweet with the buttons done up. I think with a little boucle skirt, in fact, I think they had matching shorts. I'm pretty sure they did. Again, I'll pop them on the screen and leave them linked down below, but I think you'll agree it's just such a sweet little piece. Cute little pockets. I know some people don't love, um, myself included to be honest, the when a high street brand in particular puts their branding all over everything, you could so easily change these buttons. They are a very subtle double R in reflection to each other. If that does bother you, you can change the buttons. That's so, so quick and easy to do. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's got a shoulder pad kind of detail. I feel very professional. I cannot wait for my first serious Zoom meeting to get all dressed up because I truly feel fabulous in this gorgeous little jacket. Okay, last but not least, I've tried to do something quite cool here and I'm not 100% sure that it's worked. I'm always on the lookout for jodhpur style trousers because they're so comfortable and yet you can dress them up to make them look a little bit smarter but let's be honest who doesn't love wearing essentially leggings but because they're jodhpurs they're a little bit more cool. You know what I'm saying? And I can't remember who I've seen doing this really well. If I can remember by the time I edit this, I'll pop a picture or a credit somewhere on the screen. It's someone that I follow on Instagram. Someone who has much longer legs than I wore a pair of trousers like this, very much like dramatic jodhpurs with this a long bit at the bottom, this long stirrup detail, and they looked really cool. I'm not sure that I pull it off. My legs are not quite long enough, but I have gone, I've tried my hardest. I paired it with the fluffy sandals because honestly, I'm just finding any excuse to wear these all the time because they're so, because they are so fabulous. These trousers, I would recommend sizing down. They're very elastic. I hope they'll bring them out in a few different colors. They are incredibly comfortable, but I just don't know if I can do it. Let me know, send me your fashion willpower if you think I can. But these are the final piece in today's video. Some real gems. I hope I've inspired you to pick up a few pieces. My favorites, I think the first two outfits are probably my favorite, that sleeveless coat, uh, that classic knit, oh my gosh. But as always with the high street, there are some incredible new bits coming all the time. So I'll share my favorites on Instagram as and when I see them. And don't forget to sign up to my newsletter as well because I love to do weekly edits of all the best high street pieces all in one place. Because yes, I'm literally checking these stores every single day because I get FOMO otherwise. <laughs> but anyway, as I mentioned, everything will be linked in the description box down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And darlings, thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye. Thank you.